Hello team. I'm here to talk to you about our strategic framework. Are you familiar with that? If not, that's okay, because I want to tell you all about it. Since 2017, the strategic framework has been used to communicate our mission, vision, and command guiding principles, as well as key strategies we are working on as a command. It has been a model for us to follow, describing why the shipyard exists, where we are headed, and how we're going to get there. It was a way for all of us to see how we can accomplish our mission, maintain, modernize, and retire our Navy's fleet, utilizing our strategies to improve our performance, allowing us to reach our vision of delivering on time, every time. You see, shortly after I took command, I met with our senior leaders to determine our way ahead on a number of strategic initiatives and efforts. One of our first priorities was to validate our strategic framework. It was important for us to determine if updates were necessary. And yes, it was determined that we should make a few improvements. So I'm here talking about the improvements with you because it's important that you understand our priorities and efforts. We are a more effective and capable shipyard when we communicate and are aligned in our mission and vision. So here we go. Strategic Framework version 2.0. We decided we were going to place greater attention on the command guiding principles because they are that important. They are what guides our behavior and actions. It's why I have been talking so much about respect every individual. They should be a part of what guides us every day. They must be ingrained in our culture. They are also essential to lean enterprise development and are key to broadening and deepening improvement efforts across the command. You will hear more in the next few months about how we will accomplish this. I know it sounds like a lot. Another part of our efforts was to review each strategy. What is the focus? And are they still helping us reach our vision? Do we need any new strategies? And can we retire any existing strategies? The answer to all of that was again, yes. We felt we did need to add one strategy, and that was safety. Yes, a safety strategy. And why? Because we listened to you. You see, continuous improvement towards an injury-free workplace is essential. We added a strategy to focus entirely on shipyard safety. The purpose of this strategy is to build a safety management system with the appropriate tools and programs that will continuously improve our current safety programs and provide long-term sustainment and safety excellence. Their focus will be on reducing hazards and associated injury potential risks through continued commitment and investment in our safety culture. We've been talking a lot about the type of culture and environment we want our shipyard to have. And I'm telling you, it's a safe workplace. It's up to every one of us to support a safe and hazard-free shipyard. The expectation is that no one gets hurt today. That's why this strategy is so needed and so important. I care about you and we hear you. We will work together to ensure a safe environment for you. The Safety Executive Steering Committee is meeting regularly. They have a charter in place and are moving toward their next steps of building two working groups a risk and hazard assessment team, and a command safety action team. These efforts are part of building a healthy safety system for our command. All right, let's move on. Our four other strategies remain the same with a couple of small updates that I wanna to talk to you about. The name of the project and product line management strategy has changed to product delivery integrate everything needed to make work flow. This is in large part because of how our thinking has evolved. We are focusing on the products. It is not just the processes that get us there. 
The main initiatives the product delivery team are working on are the job readiness cell, submarine end game performance through ready ship ready crew, inside shop workflow, and critical path improvements. For example, you can see progress already in the JRC. It is helping us improve our workflow by delivering tools and materials directly to the mechanics on the waterfront. Ready ship ready crew. Well, this effort is improving crew readiness to help our ships succeed in the maintenance environment. All right, next strategy, the people strategy. Develop our people to be their best. The people team has recently completed work on a couple of initiatives. They turned their ideas and initiatives into full-fledged programs. The Strong Program, which is a mentoring-based leadership development program, and the Competency Management Program. Their efforts have shifted to two new initiatives, Connection to Mission and a Command Career Center. Connection to Mission will be a hands-on way for you to learn more about the ships we work on and their mission, along with activities and knowledge related to our PSNS and IMF mission. We are in the process of implementing the new Career Center. They are working on ways to support each of you as individuals in your career through developing career paths and working on competency mapping to identify skills and abilities to be integrated with individual development plans. How cool is that? This is in addition to Production Shop's workforce development strategy, which many of you may already be a part of. Innovation strategy, turning ideas into action. The innovation team is working to accelerate innovation investments and throughput. Their focus is on idea generation and implementation, technology transfer, and knowledge sharing. There are so many cool aspects to innovation, 3D imaging and measuring, technology to be used for large valves and carriers, saving days and improving worker safety. How about robotics? Remote operated vehicles are being developed for carrier waterborne tank inspections along with state-of-the-art condenser cleaning and auto analysis equipment, which will help reduce schedule risk and automated hull survey robots, which will save time. How about laser ablation? Through a partnership with Naval Undersea Warfare Center Keyport, we are streamlining our paint removal process. This will help prepare us to use state-of-the-art equipment that is already being developed by industry. Two main initiatives the innovation team are working on are establishing Infusion as the innovation's community's tool and mapping out the innovation process in the shipyard. These will be resources for our workforce trying to incorporate innovative products and resources into their work processes. Can't get better than that. Next one, infrastructure strategy. Develop and maintain a mission-ready environment. The infrastructure team has had some big changes and are working on some really big initiatives. The first of which is the Shipyard Infrastructure Optimization Plan, otherwise known as SIOP. SIOP is a 20-year, $21 billion plan to recapitalize and renovate all four naval shipyards. This effort includes upgrading dry docks and improving efficiencies. As you know, our naval shipyards are really old and they were originally designed and built for shipbuilding, not performing maintenance. Given the opportunity to redesign and change our structure a bit, there's a lot we can do to be more efficient. And this includes things like establishing hubs for our different product lines. Another major undertaking of the infrastructure group is working on mobile workforce enablement. This effort is driving to deploying tablet computers across our waterfront. This will help automate some production operations. I know that was a lot of information, but it really is important that you understand how our strategies are supporting the work you do every day. The last update that I want to talk with you about is the new section towards the top of the framework. 
results. Achieving results drives us every day. I know it drives me every day. We are striving towards our vision and the results we produce are helping us to get there, just as our strategies are. This new section is there to help us measure our success through SQDCM, safety, quality, delivery, cost, and morale. Safety. The first bookend of SQDCM is safety. One of the key concepts associated with our guiding principle of respect every individual is the need to assure a safe environment. We cannot work with unsafe conditions or practices. We cannot have people getting hurt. Our work must result in safety. Next, quality. Our mission requires that the products we work on must meet the technical and quality standards and specifications. If not, they may not perform as needed. It's how we prevent unsafe conditions for our workers and the sailors we support. Our work must result in quality. Next, delivery. Key to completing our mission and achieving our vision is the actual delivery of products when, where, and in the quantity needed. To make that happen, it is also means of all the necessary information, material, training, and inspections also need to be delivered correctly. Each of us should work with urgency to ensure that our individual part of the supporting work is delivered when, where, and how it is expected. Our work must result in the right delivery at the right time. Next, cost. Cost matters. In general, we believe that if we get the other elements of SQDCM moving in the right direction, cost will also follow in the right direction. Money isn't unlimited. Our work must result in getting cost right. Next, morale. The bookends of safety and morale set the context for the other three results. You've heard me say it more than once. It's all about our people. And morale is affected by how we engage each other, how we support each other, how we learn together and share our ideas. It is the environment we work in. Working together will improve morale. Our work must result in good morale and the culture we want. Please, if you have questions about how our framework guides your efforts, ask. If you want to know more about what our teams are working on, check out Salute or visit SharePoint. Just like I've said before, communications to you are important. We will be communicating more and more on the strategic framework. So please, engage. Know that each of you is important in accomplishing our mission. And I need you to understand where we are headed. Together, one mission, one team.